so hi dear sagittarius a very very good evening to you guys this is anjali tarot and this is a general love reading for all the uh, sagittarius sun moon venus rising keep in mind this is general it might or might not resonate with you in the first place the second thing the roles can be reversed also third thing this is a reading from 11 till the 17th of december for those who are in complete no contact with each other for whatever reason if you want to be a professional tarot card reader like me you can purchase my course the link is in the description box it's from uh, basics to intermediate and it's in english language if you want to start your self love journey and you don't know from where to start you can purchase my ebook it's super cheap and it's loaded with a lot of information you are going to love it okay so let's start with your reading sagi is the person that you have no contact with their current feelings for you right now at this present moment we have the magician the 6 of cups the chariot wow what is happening here sagis is on an on a physical level this person is like okay let me move on let me move on let me move on on an energetic level they're still manifesting a reconciliation coming back together what is happening here is that that then manifestation that they're trying to manifest like regarding this connection the reconciliation the coming back together and uh, their physical action are not matching with each other and it's like a it's it's a kind of energy where we are moving on physically with the, from somebody and wanting them back in our life because of whatever reason we feel like okay they should be in our life or they should at least at least come back so that i can reject them or say, so that i can give them the same pain that they gave me or something like that so it's like their actions and their intentions are not matching with each other for some of you this person might be manifesting like completely walking away completely moving on from the situation but deep 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 down of their subconscious mind you are still there and they are still wanting this energy back in their life like with you the way it used to be at some point of time what the hell it's like <clears throat> it's like me wanting you with all of my uh, heart and soul and when it comes to the physical level i don't give a shit where you are dying like whether you are dying or whether you are alive or something like that it's like that this is what is happening with this person their ego is telling them not to go back to sagittarius no matter what the heart is telling them manifest them back in your life because it was beautiful okay let's see what this person wants from you what are their intentions yeah we have the 9 of cups the 5 of swords the ace of pentacles <laughs> oh god their intention is to cut the crap and come towards you with for another chance see their intention is to listen to their heart and soul sometimes we don't understand what our intention is until unless we connect with our soul level kind of energies not our ego self ego is a very dangerous thing honey sagittarius ego is a very very dangerous thing ego is nothing but our conscious mind trying to protect us from being hurt again trying to keep us in our comfort zone forever because because it is what it understands right but this person's ego is kind of i don't know how it is happening this person's ego is kind of telling them to listen to their heart and they want to come towards you with some kind of mature and grounded kind of energy of like like let's start again this is what they want it's like their energies are having this push and pull kind of energy of one part going towards a uh, ego and one part's going towards a soul like heart yeah let's see what this person wants from you what are their intentions for the uh, okay we got the intention let's see what action is this person going to take towards you in the, till the 17th of december sagis let's see what action is this person going to take towards you till the 17th of december <clears throat> we have the two of cups the fool and the king of pentacles the outcome is very very good very good you can expect somebody coming towards you with a very beautiful solid offer of see i am still attached to you at some point can we start again can we take the leap of faith with the universe again between you and me can we make it happen this time i don't know if they are going to say the exact words or not for some of you they are exactly going to say can we be together again for others of you i do see this person coming towards you with all of their heart and soul 
trying to figure out a way to start this connection all over again to take the risk of being with you again and making this risky decision to be the best decision of their life so you can expect somebody coming towards you with a loving kind of energy nurturing kind of compassionate kind of energy of making something wo work out that might be uh, not working out from a very long time but now they want to give it another shot very good <laughs> very good and it's the, it's it's taking them a lot of courage and strength Trust me, Sajis, it's taking them a lot of courage and strength while they're doing it. Let's see the guidance for you guys, Sajis, in the situation. We have the Hierophant, the Six of Swords and the Ace of Swords. The guidance here is before committing, before saying yes or no or anything like that to, to anybody in your life right now, in your love and relationship area, understand where you are coming from. The past baggage should be in the past. The clarity should be there, 100% clarity, 1000% clarity in your heart and soul. Whether you want to be in a committed relationship or you just want a friendship kind of dynamic or you want something that is going to be a friendship kind of energy that might turn into something else in the future. But whatever you are trying to understand, like whatever you are trying to achieve in love and relationship area, please leave the past baggages behind you and make up your mind completely about what exactly you want out of a relationship or out of a connection. Then only move forward. That is more the most important thing. So thank you so much for tuning in, Cap uh, Sajis. I'll see you soon in the next video. Bye bye. Take care. God bless you. Namaste. Next is Capi. So I'm just rehearsing. Yeah. Bye.